Mm -hmm. I'm just over here grating some cheese. Some mozzarella cheese because we are making pizza today. Hey, go over here making the dough. Shaking a little booty. And I'm just chowing down on some cheese. How'd I do? Fantastic. Thank you. She also said, I don't think we were supposed to grate the whole thing. Well, no, I mean, what's now what's this sauce recipe consist of? It's super simple, but I think it's delicious. It's um, whole peeled tomatoes, and then a little bit of vinegar, oregano, salt, pepper, I think that's it. Oh, and garlic. And then you just food process it, and it's done. Wow, you see how simple things are? But it's so fresh tasting. So much better than getting a pizza sauce just from the store. The key to making pizza at home is that your oven is super hot, like 500 degrees. Why? Uh, just because then it makes the crust crispy but still chewy. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it that hot, then you're not going to get that kind of crunch or crisp your crust. Also, another good tip for making good pizza is you have to shred the entire brick of mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Yay, Haley! And the way you can tell the difference between my pizza and Haley's pizza is hers has little doo doos on it. Wouldn't you say, Haley? Delicious. Delicious little doodies. I said goobers. <laughs> I cut it up into small pieces. Mmm, mmm, mmm. For me, I think nothing goes better with pizza than chocolate milk. So I'll teach you guys how to make a glass of fresh chocolate milk. It's this powder here in the can thing. And you just do this. You add a couple spoonfuls to a full glass of milk. Mm -hmm. And then you stir it together here. I use kitchen scissors to cut the pizza instead of a pizza wheel. Mm -hmm. Much easier. So that's a simple recipe. It takes 10 minutes for the dough to, uh, what is it, rise? Yeah, well this is a special recipe. Yeah, this recipe is only 10 minutes of waiting and then you bake it right away. So um, it's just my kind of recipe. Now those of you who know me, you'll know that I do not like those black things or the red chunks. And some of you might agree that they're disgusting. Haley, however, thinks they're delicious and has convinced me to take a bite. Just gonna be one olive and then one little red thing. I don't really know if this should count them. Yes! Do you see? There's one olive and one red thing on it. All right. No, wait, no! Mm -hmm. No, uh, 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 uh. That counts. That does not count. I think that's a do-over. I didn't like it. I can tell you that. Right. It might have only been this big, but I, it's the only thing I tasted. Even though you taste it down with pepperoni? Yes. I do not like that. The olives were salty. Other than that, I hated every second of it. I recommend not eating them. Stay away from olives and the red pepper things. And that is the show. Goodbye. I thought of a question to ask. Um, my favorite drink is chocolate milk here. And I was wondering, what do you think is the best meal that goes with chocolate milk? Me, it's either bagels with cream cheese, or uh, grilled cheese, obviously, or pizza. Those are my top three favorite things that I drink chocolate milk with. So leave a comment and tell me what is your favorite meal to drink chocolate milk with. Thanks and bye. This might be the last time I ever see you, so what do you what do you have to say? I just really hope I don't die on this plane. Bye, thanks for a great weekend. Thanks Love you, great YouTube. Life. Great life. Bye, brother. Bye, brother. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, thanks for go. subscribing. Oh, get out of here.